A new study from Tufts University shows college students are taking a more active role in our democracy. In 2014, 235 students living on UT's campus cast ballots in the midterm elections. In 2018, that number more than doubled. Still, election experts say much more still must be done. 10 News reporter Grace King joining us now. And Grace, how many students are voting? Just break it down for us. Robin, out of the students who live in either UT Sorority Village or on campus, 1,400 of them are registered to vote in Knox County. But in 2018, only 40% of those registered voters cast their ballots. I didn't get registered in time. For UT student Jack Remke, the midterm elections were a busy time. I just was really busy. I couldn't get it done in time. He and thousands of his peers missed their chance to cast a ballot last year. I was not able to vote uh, last election because of a few, oh few financial circumstances, um, and I do plan on voting the next election. In that next election, Dr. Katie Cahill says younger voters can make all the difference. They could reshape the politics of the country because they may have very different ideas than those um, individuals who typically vote, which are those over the age of 65. Every day, the UT Library helps students get registered. Everybody's vote counts in our democracy, and so libraries play a big part in that. A big part in helping students shape the world they want to live in. They'll be inheriting uh, this country, and it's important for them to um, have people who represent them uh, and, their, and their ideals and their values. Even if you feel like your vote doesn't matter, Dr. Cahill says it does. What's really important is even if you don't think that your particular candidate has um, a likelihood of winning, that you still turn out so as to signal that you are paying attention and that you care enough to take the time to participate. And Robin, it's important to note that during the mayoral primary in Knoxville a few weeks ago, just 15 students living on campus or in Sorority Village cast ballots. And while many students choose to keep their voter registrations in their hometowns, they'll likely live here for a few years and be affected by local policy.